Hi there, this screencast is uh, being made for the Ashfield Youth Theatre upcoming shows um, to kind of assist them set up Isadora. Uh, however, it may be useful for some other people as well. So basically, I'm going to talk through how to set up Isadora specifically to be a, um, uh, a way to play video on a projector um, and switch between video and pictures and audio cues. Uh, so Isadora is free, you can download Isadora, I'm pretty sure it's available on both PC and Mac. Um, and the limitation of the free version is that you can't save your uh, your work. So every time you you restart Isadora, you've got to set it up again. So it's, it's worth buying it if you can afford it, but if you can't, this ought to help. So uh, first up, let's start out by heading up to Isadora at the top here and clicking on Preferences. Then head over to stage, you know, go through the preferences and check them. Head over to stage and you'll see that there is a, a stage size and stage one. At the moment, my stage one is set to main screen um, because I don't have a projector plugged in. But if you had a projector plugged in, I'd set it to screen two um, to the projector and make sure it's the size that you want it. If you like, you can have a second stage where you can monitor what's happening, so we'll keep that as well. And uh, we'll have these two stages on. So that's how you set up your projector stage and your little monitor screen stage. Hit OK. And head up to Windows and show stages. And now we can see our two stages are sitting down here. And you can imagine that stage one is actually a projector somewhere else. All right, so let's start out by actually uh, setting up our projector. So over here, you'll see number one is selected up the top left in video group. And we want to set up a projector. There it is. Click on projector once and drop it where you want it to be. So drop the projector over here. And you'll see this particular projector is set to stage one. So this stage here. Now we want to play a video. So we're going to grab the movie player from over here. So grab the movie player, plonk it down there. So the next thing we want to do is import some media. So to do that, just go up to file, import media. Now I've got a bunch of media ready here, but I'm only going to import the video files for now. So we've got three little video files ready to go over here. And you'll see they turn up there, one, two, three. Uh, the next thing we want to do is connect the movie player to the projector. So you could do that by connecting the video out of the movie player to the video in of the projector. So now click over here on movie player, select movie one, which is the ball game Granville up the top, and hit enter. <laughs> and that will play quite loudly. Um, and so that's how you play the video. If you ever want to stop the video, just click on movie again, press zero, and hit enter. Okay, uh, other, th other options, obviously there's some volume options here, there is um, a loop option. So loop enable at the moment, it, this video would loop, you can turn that on or off. So that's all quite simple. Um, we might want to include something like a video fader as well, which is a possibility. So if you grab the video fader from over here on the left and plonk it there, you can click on this connection and delete it by clicking delete. And instead, the video out from the movie player goes into the video fader. The video out from the fader goes into the projector video in. And so now when we play video two, for instance, you'll see that we've got a mix amount here and we could fade it up if we wish. Now it's really important to know that this doesn't fade the audio as well, it just fades the video. Um, but if we don't want that, we can simply uh, have this Okay, so this is probably a good time to also demonstrate uh, why it might be useful to have a second stage. So if we get another projector, so let's just find projector and put it over here. 
So this second projector uh, will set the stage down here to stage 2. So stage 2. And we'll also connect this movie player directly to video in. So now when we play a video here, we can see the video starting here on stage 2. So we know it's the right video, we've got it lined up. And then we can fade it up on the video fader and it will show on stage 1, which is on our projector. So that's just one way to kind of use two stages to, uh, to uh, check on what's being lined up. Don't feel like you have to do it. Um, I'll do the rest of the presentation now with only uh, the one stage. Um, so that's how you play movies. So very easy. I could press number two now and when I press enter, it plays the movie. Number one and enter, play the movie. So just remember, click on the button movie up here, select the number that you want and press enter. So zero, enter, will stop playing anything. All right, next up we'll learn how to add a picture as well. So there's another option down here called the picture player. Simple enough. Grab the picture player, put it down here. You can also plug the video out of the picture player either directly into the projector if you like, or what we'll do is we'll put it through the video fader. Now it's gonna give you a warning that if you have two video streams playing at once, unexpected things might happen. So use that at your own risk. So be careful not to have two things playing at once. And we'll import some pictures. So file, import media, and just grab your pictures, oops, these are all JPEGs, and just like the video files, the pictures are labeled over here as one, two, three, four. So if I want that picture of Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, I press number four, enter, and there it is. You'll see it's a little bit squished, so it's good to make sure all your media is uh, in the right video format in the right resolution and also that your uh, your stages are set to the right resolutions as well for their for their screens. Uh, the picture player is exactly like the movie player so you select the number that you want so number three and press enter and the picture will play so this is what's up on the projector right now. What's great is you can also of course fade that out by increasing the mix amount here and fade it back in. I can fade out this image if I like, get the next image ready, so click over to uh, Michael Jordan, which is number two, hit enter, so that's now playing, and now bring down the mix amount, and we've faded in Michael Jordan. Pretty cool. All right, let's fade down Michael Jordan, and set the picture player to zero. So that's the picture, pro picture player, pretty simple, uh, does the trick. And finally, we might have some sound cues we want to add. Now, you'll see over here on the top left, there's number one, which is a video group. Number two is the audio group. And inside the audio group is the sound player. Sound player is fantastic. Grab it, put it in the middle. Um, let's add some sounds. Now, we've got two sound files. One is an MP3, and the other is an AIFF. Okay? So the AIFF is uncompressed, um, it's similar to a WAV file as well if you're using a PC, the WAV file would be the same, um, and MP3 is your common compressed audio. Now once we've imported that, you'll, real, you'll notice that the, uh, the MP3 file has actually ended up here under video file, so it's not playing like an audio file, that's something to be aware of. So if I actually use the movie player here and press number 4, it's going to play my MP3 file, but without um, without any visuals. So if you do have MP3s, you can just play them uh, simply by using the movie player. If you have AIF files, uh, the sound player is a little bit different. So you'll see audio files there is numbered just like the other ones. We press number one, so put number one into sound there, and hit enter. Now when we hit enter, notice that nothing happens. Sound player is a little bit different. You can line up your sound and then you've got to click here next to start. And once you've done that, it'll start to play. All right. 
and when we want to stop that, we press stop. Again, you've got loop options here if you want to loop that sound. You've got volume here. So let's just start this song for a bit and we can play with the speed a little bit. And it loops and also significantly, significantly we can fade it down using the, the volume option here. Ready? Here we go. Goodbye all of us. Cool, so fading is useful as well, and just like the other players on the sound player, hit zero and enter, and you'll uh, get rid of the sound that's in the player. So uh, hopefully that little crash course in how to set up Isadora is useful, and uh, just email me if you have any more questions. This is Elias from Curious Works signing out. Mm -hmm.